Hi, this is Mind Raj. Welcome back to another Coaching Mini Bike Insight. Um, today's video, I'm, well, I'm not going to give it away yet, but I'm just going to ask you a question for a start. Uh, do you have or have you ever had things that uh, you've been, you know, you, you thought about doing and or you've been, you're still thinking about doing and you just haven't done yet? Do you have some of those, right? Something that you think may be nice or you want to challenge yourself with or you want to try out or you know whatever right and you just haven't done it yet and and i don't know maybe for you it's been it's been uh, one month you've been thinking about it maybe it's been a year maybe it's been 10 years you've been thinking about doing that thing and you thought you, you know you've been having this conversation every once in a while it'll come it'll come up in your head and you're like ah, you know i should do that one day right and it's like fucking 10 years have gone by and you still haven't done it do you have one of those right uh well i do i still do and I just uh, did one of those things, right? And uh, holy shit, I went horse riding, right? Um, I, I have ridden a horse before. Just to clarify, it was kind of like a, it was a horseback safari in South Africa. But, but that wasn't horse. That wasn't me riding the horse. That was the horse uh, doing what it wanted with me, right? I was not in control. I had no idea what I was doing. The horse was just doing it, you know, having its way with me uh, but for the first time I actually went for a horse riding class with two of my really good friends who you know that their, their passion is horse riding right uh, and I've always you know ever since that that the first experience where that horse in South Africa did what it wanted with me like and I realized I had no control or, or understanding whatever I was I was intrigued I was kind of hooked you know, but at the same time, what prevented me from doing it all this while, what prevented me from going back and, you know, riding horses or taking classes, although I knew that there was horse riding in Kuala Lumpur, right, in, in, in my home, just an hour away from my house, um, what prevented me was fear, right? And so if you check in with yourself, is fear or anxiety or whatever word you want to call that, right, that kind of emotion, that fear-based emotion, is that what's been holding you back, preventing you, slowing you down, or stopping you from also doing that thing that you've been thinking about doing for one year or 10 years? Is it? Well, it was the case for me. And um, bottom line is I'm so glad I actually went for a horse riding class. Now, it was hard. It is, pro it is the most challenging thing I've done to date. And bear in mind, let, 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 you know, let's put some context around this, right? Like, I jump out of planes for fun. I skydive. I have, you know, 500 over jumps. I have done formations of up to 100 people in a skydiving formation. Uh, I rock climb. I free dive. I do all that stuff. And yeah, horse riding definitely put me way outside my comfort zone it uh, you know that whole notion here's what i'm afraid of right i'm on this i don't know what two thousand three thousand pound animal intelligent animal and the image i get in my head every time i think of a horse is it throwing me off and me landing hard right so there's a lot of fear around this but i understand that I understand it's way outside my comfort zone, but you know what? You're not going to fucking achieve anything if you don't put yourself outside your comfort zone. And yes, you're afraid. And yes, things might go wrong. And yes, there's a risk of failure or falling. But nothing great has ever been achieved without taking a risk. Nothing great has ever been achieved without stepping outside your comfort zone. So at some point, you got to start. If you're... If you've been thinking and talking about, oh, I want this and I want that and I want to do this and I want to live in this country and I want this house and I want this car and I want this amount of money and you're not doing shit because you're afraid you might fall off the horse or you might fail, well, you're not going to ever get what you want, right? So moral story is why I'm sharing this horse riding story is it's the most uncomfortable thing I've done. I, I have a long way to go. Um, 
yes, I do have some strengths that come maybe I, I was told by the instructor. So I got that going for me. And I know it's gonna it it'll take whatever amount of time it takes for me to even get comfortable in the what they call the trot, right? The horse trot. Um, or the canter. Um, I know it's gonna take a bit of work, it's gonna take effort, it's gonna take some level of consistency of action, right? And it's gonna take a bit of determination too to get over that fear and to just step into a bit of courage and, and command the horse, tell the horse what I want it to do rather than be timid about it. And this is true for your goals too taking charge of your goals, taking charge of your days, taking charge of your time, taking charge of your mindset, which is the 80% that's gonna help you get your goals, taking charge and making it the way you must make it to achieve your goals, right? And the other way to put it is, you know, live at cause, stop living at the effect of things. Live at cause, train your brain, train yourself to live at cause, take charge, step out your comfort zone, do those things that are uncomfortable and that are gonna progress you towards your goals. All right, my name is Mind Raj. Please, wherever you're watching this, comment, share, like, subscribe, share your distinctions with me, share your insights that you've gotten from this, share this video with others that you think can benefit from this, uh, this, this insight. And um, you know, if you have questions, post them in the comment too, if, if it's available somewhere. And, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll do my very best to, to answer your questions as quick as I can, all right? Thank you once again for watching. Thanks for following me. Please uh, comment, share, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. This is my Raj called Create and Live the Life of Your Dreams.